What's up guys? So this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to prep your nail stands. Let's get into it. So we're going to go ahead and grab our nail stands. You can grab whatever nail stands that you like to use. You can find them on Amazon. You can find them on Etsy. Or if you know somewhere else, just comment down below. So these nail stands also came with these little curvy ones. Um, I really don't like to use those as much. I like the straight ones, but let's get right into it. Let's go ahead and prep these nails for our next step which is our putty and this is um the gorilla hold on i'm gonna show you guys real quick so this is the gorilla mounting putty and i love this putty this is the best putty to use for your press on nails so guys i am just basically tearing little pieces off of my putty and mounting them to my stance Tip number one. So guys, you kind of want to mold the putty onto the nail stand, like, like kind of really get the putty on the nail stand so that I think that this actually helps keep the putty on the nail stand while your nails are on there. So yeah, guys, I just wanted to say that really quick. Okay guys, tip number two, when doing a full set, you wanna go big to small with the amounts of putty that you're doing because your nail size goes from zero to like whatever is the smallest number. So zero being the biggest and whatever number being the smallest. Like so with my nail tips, a number 11 is my smallest. So you wanna make sure that you're putting the right correct amount of putty under each nail tip. That tip also can be used even when doing a custom set. You just have to actually pay attention to the nail tip size because the bigger the nail tip size, the more putty you may need and then the smaller the nail tip size, the less putty you may need. Okay guys, so moving on to our next step, which is putting our nail tips onto our nail stands. Tip number three guys, um, is putting the nail tip, like not too far to the back of the nail tip, but kind of like in the middle where it looks level it i mean you can definitely feel how the nail tip is sitting on the nail stand you can see it you know you just don't want it to be too far to the front of it because then you know when you're going to file or buff or anything like that you will definitely your nail tips will definitely fall off so you just want to make sure that is somewhat in the middle of the nail tip depending on how big your nail tips are Tip number four is to check your nails through the process and making sure that they are sturdy, like they are, you know, not moving on the nail stand. So you can use your wax pencil. I used my nails to kind of just like test them out, making sure that they're not moving around while I'm, um, you know, doing this because I don't want to have to go back and add more putty. So I just check my nails during this process. So for this nail stand, this is the nail stand that I actually put the smaller pieces of putty on because the nail tips are getting smaller and I don't want the putty to actually expand to the free edge when um, the nail tips are getting smaller. So um, yeah, I just want to say that's what I'm doing right here. And um, yeah, guys, I don't think that I actually have um, any, oh, yes I do, tip number, I think this is tip number five. Um, if the putty does, like once you put your nail on the nail stand and the putty happens to um, expand out to your free edge, you could just take the nail tip off and make the putty 
um, smaller so that, you know, it's not expanding all the way to your free edge under your nail tip. Um, I think this is tip number six, guys. Let me know down in the comments. But anyway, I'm as you see, I'm taking off this nail tip because it's small. And I do have a good amount of putty, but it's just not reaching under the nail tip like I want to make the nail tip sturdy on the, on the stand. So what I did was I took the nail tip off and I balled the putty up like a ball and then I placed the... I placed it on the nail stand instead of molding the putty back onto the stand I just put my nail tip on it and then I just let it you know expand on the under the tip and onto the nail stand so moving on to my smaller tips and I'm going to do the same thing as you see I did not scratch the putty so far out on the nail stand I kind of just did like little balls and put them like towards like you know um the higher apex of the nail Moving on to buffing your nail tips, I'm using my Modeling Susie nail drill and I'm using my sanding bit to go over the surface of each one of these nails and just removing the shine from each of the nails. You can also use any buffer that you have that you prefer to use. If you don't have a nail drill, you can just use a nail buffer. So guys, after you're done buffering your nail surface, you want to use like a dust brush to dust your nails off. I have my dust collector here, so I actually just tap my nail stand on my on my dust collector. I don't know where my dust brush was at this time, but honey, yeah, don't be like me. Just get the dust brush. <laughs> So our next step is to um, take our no lint wipes and we're just going to wipe these nail down with alcohol, just kind of removing more of those, um, the dust from the nails. Um, I really don't like doing this step. I need to stop doing this step because I really don't like that um, it messes with my putty under my nails and then it's like, it's like I have to sometimes actually take the whole nail off the stand and go and mess with the putty cause it's wet from the alcohol. But, um, I don't really like doing this stuff, but, um, I have to, I guess, because like, I don't like to just go right in with my, um, 
my builder gel so that's why i actually do this stuff but i don't like the fact that it leaves like a frost under the nail sometimes like it just looks like it's look weird to me i don't like that so that's why i love my apray nail tips because i don't have to buffer do any of this steps to that so yeah okay guys so i'm gonna be using my ibd builder gel to um add um that sturdiness to it so i'm just gonna do like a thin layer like as if you was doing a thin layer of base coat and i also cure them in my lamp for 60 seconds sometimes i have to double cure because my lamp is so old i need a new one i really want like a rechargeable one but uh, we'll get into that later but for now we're just adding a thin layer of this build gel i'm gonna cure it for 60 seconds honey Hey guys, so that pretty much wraps up this video for today. I will um, be doing more things that have to do with press on now. So stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave your girl a like. And don't forget to comment down below. And yeah, and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Don't forget Nails by VPB. And um, peace, y'all.